Hello and welcome to the next video on uh, basic electrical repairing. In the previous video, we tried understanding the connections in a dummy uh, circuit board or an electrical board. Now, most of these are uh, replicated as such in the actual uh, electrical board as well. So, in this video, we are going to try and open up an actual live board and see how the connections are placed in an actual board. Now, in front of you is the live board which has uh, multiple switches. There is a fan regulator and a plug point as well in this. And this I am sure controls uh, several uh, uh, equipments in the room including the fan, tube light and maybe uh, bulb uh, also. So, let us try and uh, open up this and see understand uh, how the connections are given. and take a look at how we need to keep safety aspects in mind while we are working on the live board. Now, first of all, whenever you are working on a live board, it is important to ensure that you switch off the mains. This is to ensure that you do not suffer any electrical shocks. However, if you want to check components there, obviously, you cannot switch off the main switch, in which case you need to use the appropriate tool to ensure that you work on the board. So, first of all, you use the tester to check if power supply is coming in in the right positions. So, as you can see, you test it, put it on the phase and see if there is phase connection there. You may even want to use the tester on the screws on the switchboard just to ensure that there is no short circuit inside which could result in power flowing into other metallic things like the screws on the switchboard. So, the first aspect that you must do is when you are working on a live board which has power supply coming in, use the tester to ensure that uh, power is coming in only in places where it is supposed to come and not in other areas. Now, while you are doing any of this stuff, please ensure that you are wearing adequate safety equipment such as your shoes or slippers just to ensure that you protect yourself from any unforeseen electrical shock. So, we have checked the plug point now and we see that there is phase coming in in one side of it on the other side uh, is neutral and we are checking the screws just to ensure that there is no electric supply in India to any of these points because there is a short circuit if there is a wire lying around there could be power supply to any of these metal things. So, you check that with the tester and once you are sure that there is no excess power supply to any unwanted area, we then use an insulated screwdriver to open the board. Again, we are using an insulated screwdriver just to ensure that we are safe from electrical shock. The insulated screwdriver will ensure that even if there is any power passing through, that power is not transferred to your hands because this is completely insulated from any power transmission. So, you hold the screwdriver tightly on top of it, press it lightly and turn it in the anti-clockwise direction to open any of the screws. Once you open the screws, just place a hand on the board to ensure that the board does not fall off completely. Because we are working on a live line, you need to be extra careful while you are working on any of these aspects. So, you slowly remove the screws, hold the board and tilt it down so that you can take the board out of its socket in the wall. So, let us turn this board around and try and see how these connections are placed on the back side of this board. Again, be very careful while you are doing this so that no wire is disconnected and you do not touch any of the live wire on the board. As you can see, uh, the back side of the board has a uh, full maze of wires, but it is not very difficult to understand what is what here if you know the basics of household wiring supply. Now, first of all, there will be a neutral wire, the blue color one is a neutral that is plugged in into the socket. Let us place the board a little more clearly so that we can understand it. So, there are switches and then there is a socket there. So, the blue color wire is the neutral wire and neutral is provided at the socket here. So, if you touch the neutral, there will be no power, but if you 
touch the uh, socket you will be able to see the power supply coming in when you switch on the switch for that socket. The face is directly given here there is a red wire that connects the face and all the switches have the bottom portion of the switches have face connected to it. The top portion of the switch does not have face connected to it because the switches are in off position now. But when you switch on the current will flow through and you will be able to see power coming in into the top portion of the switches also. So first of all the blue wire as we just spoke about is the neutral and each of these uh, uh, switches will have the face connected to it. So there is a red wire which is coming in there. The red wire is the phase wire that comes from the meter. So the red phase wire is a little thicker because it is coming from the main line. So this is a heavy wire that is uh, connected here and this phase wire is then transmitted to all the switches through a single wire there. So you can see that there is a single wire that runs in the bottom part of all the switches and this ensures that the phase is connected to all the switches. And as we spoke about uh, the switches earlier, switches are always placed in series on the phase line of the power supply. So the blue is the neutral which comes to one end and on the other end the phase is given to the switches. And you can use a tester to check whether there is phase supply here and you can see the lights very clearly that there is phase which is supplying on the bottom portion of all these switches. This phase power is transferred to the top portion of the switch only when you switch on the respective switch. And when you turn on one of the switches you will be able to see the phase coming into the top portion of the switch. Now this top portion of the switch is then connected to the respective electrical component. For example, if this is a tube light uh, switch, this top uh, portion is connected to the phase part of the tube light. The tube light will also be getting a neutral connection directly from the main line. So all the switches here are in series connection on the phase line, whereas individual components such as tube lights, fans, etc. are placed on parallel connection. The socket is also placed in parallel connection. Apart from this, there is also a green wire that you can see. This is for earthing and earthing is necessary for your safety as well as the equipment's safety. So overall, in a typical switchboard, you will be able to see a neutral line coming in into the socket, a face that comes into the switches which can gets distributed to all the switches and the other side of the switch connects to the respective electrical components. So the red is the phase line, the blue is the neutral line, the green is the earthing line in any electrical board. So each of these switches again control different electrical components. So the top portion of the switch is connected to the phase portion of the respective electrical component. Now this is the point which also connects to uh, regulator as well if you have a fan in the room. So typically the neutral wires directly reach each of the electrical components, the phase wire passes through the switchboard and the switches and connects to the respective electrical components. The last switch is for the socket and this switch is what controls the phase connection given to the socket. So whenever you are making a switchboard in any residential complex, you must ensure that you use appropriate color coded wires to avoid any confusion for any anybody who might open up the switchboard. For example, if you are making the electrical connections in a house, uh, it is possible that few years later some other electrician might open it up. So in order to help people understand how the connections are made, it is important to use standard color codes such as black for neutral red for the face and green for the earthing and ensure that the switches are all properly ordered to avoid any confusion in connections in the switchboard. We do hope you will have learnt how to connect a switchboard a proper connection in a residential wiring. Thank you very much.